Hello there, everyone. I have returned again from my long-awaited break. Um, a lot of family stuff came up, but you, you guys don't care about that. You're here for the you're here for the action figure reviews, aren't you? Well, good thing I'm here to deliver, and well, I might post more than one video today. I don't know, it just depends on how I'm feeling. But today, I want to post a video about what my childhood was like, <clears throat> because I've kind of seen that trend going around so it's like you know what i want to do that so today i'm going to be talking about five poa figures you know any star wars fans watching this are probably already like oh i hate five poa five poa is garbage why would you want to make a video just talking about five poa it better be a video on how how trash it is well actually no this is a positive review on five poa what 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 yeah that's right because I, I grew up on five poa yeah, I had some articulated figures here and there, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> it was 5POA that raised me, so boom. That's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about, like, the first ones I got to the last ones. So so let's, let's begin, shall we? All right, now I will be the first to admit the sequel films were kind of bad, but Force Awakens, when it came out, people liked it. So did I. Last Jedi, well, it could have been way better, but I will agree with everyone. Rise of Skywalker was the biggest piece of dog shit, as Dwayne Johnson would say. Um, I was so disappointed, especially with the Sith Troopers. I'll make a video on them another time, but this one, these two were like the oldest. Like, I made sure to get my childhood one back. To make this video. I've been holding off on making this. Because I needed my childhood version. This figure right here. <clears throat> um, I got these two in the two pack. Because when you order them online. You don't get them in the store. You order them online. They come together. So, But I don't have the speeder bike. I have the ATRT. But it's in my display. And I do not want to have to take that down. But this guy came with the ATRT. And this guy came with the speeder. And... I remember when I was little, my mom ordered it for me. I don't even remember if I asked for it. It was like, she gave it to me, and it was like, best gift ever, because I just love these two. Like, like growing up, these were the guys that were my stormtroopers. I didn't have stormtroopers growing up. Like, I had one or, I had like one other clone that you're going to see in a minute. And like, these guys were the frontline fighters. And maybe it's because this guy that I love Captain Wilco from the Bad Batch, because Captain Wilco is basically a, a clone trooper version of him. I just love it. Also, this guy, why isn't he canon anymore? Why isn't he canon anymore? Look how awesome he looks. Also, I know I'm breaking the rules because technically this is 9 POA, because he has a bend and a swivel in the knees. What? No way. That's crazy. I don't, I don't know. But still, these two, these are the oldest ones, and you just can't leave them out. We got General Kenobi and Commander Cody, the two-pack. Now, it's not my original Cody, because my original Cody, um, I have no idea what happened to him. But this is the one... That came in a four pack I got, but it's it's basically the same one. This is the original Obi Wan, but at the end of the day, it's the same Cody. So, <laughs> um, I've had it for like the equal amount of time, so it doesn't really matter. It's still a childhood version because I got it before I became a teenager. So, boom, problem solved. Um, <clears throat> but these two figures, mm, I just remember this was the other clone I was talking about. Cody and the two stormtroopers were the ones that fought on the front lines, and I just remember having those two serving alongside either the Empire or Obi-Wan with the Jedi, and I, it was awesome. I remember I did a whole story where, like, the Empire started, my, I made up my own Star Wars universe, because at the time I only had a little bit of toys, so I just made up my own story, and in it, um, the Empire was formed when Darth Vader, like, came into power. Um, I'm not gonna go too into death about it, but Darth Vader was, like, created. 
and um, he built the Empire, and he made the Stormtroopers on his side, and, you know, Commander Cody betrayed Obi-Wan because mind control, I guess. I don't know, actually, like, it's been a minute. But still, I just remember these two. I mean, these were my favorites. I love Commander Cody because he's awesome looking. And the Solitary Clone is my favorite Star Wars thing ever. I've watched it around 78 times now. <laughs> Sue me. I don't care. Our last two-pack on this list is Boba Fett and Han Solo. Yes, Boba Fett's fingers are missing and his rangefinder, but I don't care. It's Boba Fett. I have his jetpack, but I'm not going to go dig for it. I remember I asked my mom really badly because I wanted a Boba Fett so bad that, like, I found the cheapest one I could find, and it came with Han Solo, and I was like, oh, fine, I'll get Han Solo. I don't really care, but I'll get him. And my mom ordered it for me, and I got it, and I just remember how much fun I had with this Boba Fett. And, like, and the Book of Boba Fett finally came out, and I and I just remember I'd watch the Book of Boba Fett with this Boba Fett in my hand. So, yeah, this guy's pretty beat up. Um, I've had him before... I had him before the Book of Boba Fett. I think I got this right around, like, when The Mandalorian came out, and I watched it, and I love The Mandalorian. And I've always just loved Boba Fett. Like, Boba Fett used to be number one favorite for me. Now he's, like, number two because Commander Cody is, um, well, Commander Cody. You cannot top Commander Cody, but still. Um, yeah, it's just Boba Fett is awesome. I gotta admit that. Boba Fett, I cannot trash on him. Han Solo, he's, he's cool too, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, these are also some of the oldest ones, and I have a lot of memories with these two, yeah. Let's get these out of the way. This would have been another two-pack thing, but I do not have the Ahsoka that came with, so I don't care. Um, this is Rebels Vader, yeah, without his cape, because the cape was garbage. It was like a plastic thing that entombed him in a sarcophagus, and I didn't like it. But yeah, this um, Darth Vader, um, it's just a nice figure, man. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I remember I made up stories where it was Darth Vader and we built the Empire and stuff because I didn't have an Emperor. I don't think anyone had an Emperor growing up. So Darth Vader was always like the Emperor. And like, the Empire was huge, man. Like, there were, I only had three troopers, but I pretended there was like way more. And like, this guy was his second in command and him and Cody would fight over who was better and who should lead. And I remember Cody defected from the Empire and joined back with Kenobi. And they teamed. It was a whole thing. Maybe I'll just make a separate video talking about my Star Wars universe. But I'll have to find the notes I wrote down. I did wrote, write down notes for it. So I'll have to find that and just read it off. But still, Star Vader, man, was just nostalgic as heck, man. Like, I love this thing. Next up, it's a shore trooper. I mean, I love the shore troopers. I just always thought they were so cool. And yeah, I know you're, you're always like you're already like, oh wait, didn't you say you only had three troopers? Well, I just got this guy. Like, I got this guy kind of around the same time I got the Boba Fett. So I didn't really have like a spot for him in my story at that time. Like, Boba Fett, yeah, I just introduced him. Like, it's Boba Fett, but a shore trooper? I don't know if I can do that. So I just pretend the shore trooper was always there, I guess. He was just one of the many stormtroopers. And the stormtrooper, oh, I talked way too much. I need a breather. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's a nice figure. I think one of the better 5 POA figures in general, but still. It's a shore trooper. I got nothing much to say about him. I think he's like the commander or something. I just, I gotta do more research, but still. That fast! Oh, it's up! Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. My friends make fun of me all the time because they're like, oh my gosh, you look like Hux. And it's like, no, I don't. I look nothing like Hux. I literally do not. So, <clears throat> um, it's just Hux. I mean, this is one of the newer ones. Came in a set with Phasma, uh, Phasma, 
and a flame trooper. I made like a mini video that was supposed to be a YouTube short, but it was one second too long, so it couldn't have been. So that kind of made me mad that I didn't see that, and then like I posted it, and it's like, dang it, it's too long. So I couldn't make it a YouTube short, so whatever. I don't know what else to say, I just wanted to include those because they're cool. Two more quote-unquote honorable mentions. I got these guys the same time I got the Boba Fett. And, well, these guys, I just pretended that they were just brand new clones. And, um, they were just, like, the twins. And, like, they were partners. And they teamed up with Cody. And they they got in the helicopter at the end of the, every mission. And then Fortunate Son will play. I would play it, but last time I played some music... I got copyright struck hard for that, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to include these guys because, well, they're nostalgic to me because they're, they're these are one of my these are some of my first clone troopers I bought with my own money. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about these two droids. Um, I have to hold this one up because he doesn't want to stand. Got your Republic droid, who was sometimes the bad guy. I had a regular version of this, but he. Had no arms or head anymore, and the backpack's missing. And so I just gave it away to my little cousins, and they gave them Lego parts. So that was cool. It, yeah, I'm just gonna stop holding him. And then you got Giraffe C3PO. I didn't, I had a 3PO growing up, but I lost him. So this was my replacement 3PO. I also had an R2, but I also don't have that anymore. So yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, yep, that's all of them. Um, if you watch this video to the very end, thank you for actually caring. It's It's been, like, a very hard week for me, so thank you for waiting and being patient with me as I went through a lot of stuff. And, yeah, I'll try and post another video sometime soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, my fellow Autobots, Decepticons, Sith Lords, Jedi, and everything in between. May the Force be with y'all. Bye.